Hello everyone, Dr. Jack Wolfson, natural heart doctor, your home for the 100 year heart. This is day number 20 of a happy heart month. We are in the middle of February, specifically on the 20th, and today's the 20th day of information that the team at Natural Heart Doctor is bringing to you. We're trying to give you the best heart health information, 28 little, little bites at a time, all the uh, recordings are available, the replays are available, just trying to get you the best information. And remember, when you fill out the 28-day calendar with the word of the day, which I will be giving today's word a little bit later on, when you fill that in, you get a $50 gift card to anything at Natural Heart Doctor. And then also three lucky winners are going to be getting the triple toxin test of metals, molds, and environmental toxins and the interpretation by Dr. Lauren Latanza. All right. So... Uh, anywho, jump in, say hello. I know it's Sunday. Uh, a lot of you are at church, maybe coming back from church, maybe on your way to church, whatever it may be, welcome. And I want to give you some fantastic information uh, today. Jump into the comments section. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how you're feeling. Shelly, Laura, Angela, Elaine. Uh, another one came up and says, just says Facebook user on my stream yard. So I don't know who that is. And I don't want to, again, if, if I don't mention your name personally, I apologize. Still as much love for you as to the names that I can see. Again, so appreciative of having you all here inside a natural heart doctor, Becky Horton. This is, um, uh, this is a very important day because, you know, uh, to your point, Shelly, yeah, we'll talk briefly about mammograms and about x-rays, but, uh, you know, we're really going to talk about cardiac type stuff. I'm going to keep it again under 20 minutes is my goal for all these presentations. You can find more information on our website, more information as, as the days, months, and even years go by at Natural Heart Doctor to really give you the best information so you can make the best health decisions for you and your family. So again, appreciate you all being here. All right, let me jump into a share screen and show you some cool stuff. Let's see here, share slides. Hmm. No. Let's see here, hold on tight. I just wanna show this allow. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Uh, normally, I, I mean, there's different ways to do a share screen. So give me a second here and we'll load this up here. And welcome, Leslie Lynn, sunny and cold in New York City. Okay. Uh, what a shocker, right? Well, I guess the sunshine part's the shocker, not necessarily the cold. All right. So it looks like the presentation is uploading into the StreamYard software. I am trying this out for the first time, believe it or not, on you all today. So let's see how that looks. Uh, we were up on the roof getting, uh, you know, we, we stayed at a condo here in Arizona. We were up on the rooftop, my two boys and I, 706 Sunrise here in Arizona. All right, let's see if this uh, adds to stream. Okay, here we go. Look at this. All right, everyone. Cool. Radioactive tests. Radioactive tests is the subject from today. Uh, radioactive tests, so what does this include? It includes x-rays, which may be anything from a routine chest x-ray to an x-ray of a limb uh, to, to mammograms. And I guess at this point, I'll say that I do have some blogs on mammograms. I am anti-mammogram. I think they cause cancer instead of preventing. Better testing. I feel is thermography and if need be that could lead to an ultrasound or even a breast MRI. But again, doing routine mammograms, they keep radiating your breast radiation, as I will say in this presentation, damages all cells and tissues along the way. And I believe is caught, which, which radiation causes cancer. So of course, radiation would cause breast cancer as well. So uh, we'll be talking about CT scans, specifically as it relates to heart CT, which is obviously a big topic. Nuclear medicine, meaning injecting nuclear material into a human uh, body. 
We do that all the time, or I used to do that all the time as a conventional cardiologist. I no longer order that test ever, and I'll talk about alternatives. Uh, and then ultimately, even a DEXA scan looking for osteoporosis and the follow-up of osteoporosis and osteopenia. Those are radiation-based scans. Those are X-ray scans. Uh, the number of people estimated at uh, uh, 15,000 is, uh, look at this, and I got, this is from Consumer Reports. 15,000 is the number of people estimated to die each year because of cancers caused by the radiation in CT scans alone. That is not Jack Wolfson's opinion. That is from Consumer Reports. So believe them or not, uh, I do. Whether or not this is an overestimation, underestimation, justified, I don't know, 15,000 number of people die each year because of the radiation and CT scans alone. That's kind of a lot. Uh, now we all, if you're a child of the 70s and, and uh, early 80s, like I am, you remember the TV show, The Incredible Hulk by the late Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno. So if we think about, again, how, how uh, you know, radiation affected Bill Bixby and this gamma radiation of which is inside of all of these CT scanners, it turned him into the Incredible Hulk. And uh, again, debate if that's a good thing or a bad thing, if you want to become the Incredible Hulk. I know I did when I was 10. I don't want to now. I'm pretty happy with the way that I am right now. Um, let me tell you about my patient, Vince. My patient, Vince, uh, it's a guy who uh, had uh, open heart bypass surgery in his uh, late 40s. Of course, prior to that, he had a coronary angiogram, which again is a radiation-based test where they use x-rays to see inside of a person. He gets, an, he, he gets that, and then he goes on for bypass surgery. Subsequently, just about every year, he has a nuclear stress test where, again, we inject nuclear material into his body to light it up and we get to see the results. And he has scan after scan. Eventually he requires uh, more stenting, more radiation therefore. And then he has prostate cancer. He has radiation on his prostate. And then wouldn't you know, at the age of 70, he's diagnosed with leukemia and dies two years later. And everybody's running around saying, why? Why, why would that happen to Vince? He was such a good guy and now Vince is gone. Left breath, check this out from the American College of Cardiology. When we talk about, again, radiation is dangerous. Radiation is bad. When you radiate the left breast, and under the left breast is the heart, as opposed to when you radiate the right breast, which is not the heart under there, when, and, and again, the radiation of either breast would be the same for breast cancer, same amount of radiation on the left, as there is on the right. The difference is the heart's on the left. And when the left breast gets radiation for breast cancer, double the risk of having heart disease. Double the risk of having heart disease. I'm telling you now, I'll say it again, radiation is bad and we need to avoid it unless it's an emergency situation. Now this is uh, uh, William Rentgen. He was a German uh, physicist back in the 1800, late 1800s, and he is the inventor or the discoverer of the X-ray. Very complicated methodology of, of how he actually serendipitously uh, 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 discovered this. But nonetheless, the picture on the hand was the X-ray. He uh, the, the picture on the left is the hand of his wife. And he took the picture of his wife's hand, and that is the first known x-ray ever done. So um, he died of intestinal cancer, uh, Rentgen. Uh, he, he died as so many of these early pioneering radiologists died of cancer along the way. So many medical doctors, of course, have died along the way. How much of that was from radiation-based scanning? Now check this out, cancer risk in 680,000 people exposed to CT scans in childhood. And they looked at again, um, uh, this information about the cancer risk in, child in, in children and young adults who are exposed to CT scans 
Overall cancer incidence was 24% greater for exposed and unexposed people. And actually the more scans you have, of course, the, more, the higher the risk uh, that you're at. So just very effusive data. Again, the radiation that goes through damages all tissues along the way, leading to heart disease, leading to cancer, leading to dementia, this is a short under 20 minute presentation which could go on for hours as a cardiologist what our team used to do not our team but the team i was involved with back up until 2012 is that the nuclear material either thallium or technetium or other gets injected into a person patient and then the person is scanned and they go into a scanner and the scanner detects all of the radiation being emitted and then goes through some complex computer algorithms and comes up with images. Now, the nuclear technician, the person doing the, the injection, they carry the nuclear material inside of a lead box and the syringe itself is, is covered in lead to protect the nuclear medicine technician from that but for some reason it's safe to be injected inside of you don't worry they say it's just once it's just a one-time thing you urinate it out quickly yada yada no radiation is is good radiation uh, unless of course we're talking about radiation that's coming from the sun and we do it in a smart way there is no smart way to get nuclear injections or CT scans. So this is the coronary calcium scan. This is what I see so many people coming to my office that they've already had this scan and they're scared and they're nervous and they're afraid. They're worried about having a heart attack, stroke, dying. And they didn't need this scan. They didn't need this scan. No one needs this scan. Now listen, if you're in an emergency, if it's a trauma situation and you, again, you need a CT scan, get the CT scan. I am talking about routine CT scans in people without symptoms. Now, even if you have symptoms, there's other things we could do like a plain, good old fashioned treadmill stress test or even a stress echocardiogram. I never order nuclear injections and I never order CT scans unless it is an emergency. Uh, this is actually a fantastic slide because what they're really saying is, is that kind of based on, uh, based on certain things, I mean, because I mean, you know, why, why get a CT scan? Because if you're not having symptoms, there's nothing to do with the results. Let's just assume everybody has coronary disease. If you're thinking about getting a CT scan or you've had a CT scan done, now what are we gonna do with it? Let's again, let's just assume that you have coronary artery disease. What does the CT scan help? So is if, if you do a CT and it shows you've got coronary calcification, are you gonna start a statin drug? Are you gonna start aspirin? If you don't have coronary disease and don't, uh, you know, then or coronary calcification, therefore you won't take a statin or you won't take an aspirin. How will the test guide the treatment? Now, for me, again, it doesn't guide any treatment at all. For me, what I do is, is that I do the most advanced cardiovascular testing in the world. And you all have seen this. And again, I'm going to put this in here. We've talked about this kind of testing extensively. If you have not had this testing done, we recommend it uh, on everybody. This is what I do on my patients every single day. What we follow up on, again, you have the testing done. You can follow up with my team, one of the coaches that are amazing. You can follow up with me, follow up with Dr. Lauren Latanza, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever and whoever you want. But again, the, the depiction that you see on the screen right there, essentially what they're there, and this is, the, from the Journal of the American College of Cardiology and how they recommend doing the scanning. So you can take a look at that uh, at your leisure. And of course the reference is right there on the slide. And then uh, when, they, when they look at kind of this risk assessment here, as far as, again, if you're at very high risk, 
they're going to recommend a statin no matter what. If you're at very low risk, they are not going to recommend a statin. How can you determine your risk? Well, you can go to this website here over at ACC, American College of Cardiology.org, and you can see what that is. I apologize if I don't have that risk assessor there. Let me see if I got, if I can pull that and put that up here. I'll, I'll put that into the comment section as well. Okay, so you got that there. So if you want to do that risk assessor, if you happen to know that data, that information, you can go ahead and do that. I don't really use that assessment tool, but for the purposes of uh, looking at your overall risk, some, some cursory guidelines there, you could do that particular uh, calculation. Go ahead and, and take a look at that. Now, CT scan in people with symptoms. People with symptoms, it's uh, it can be different. Again, and the CT scan is often... Uh, different. It's a CT angiogram where they inject you with a uh, an iodine-based contrast in order to be able to see what's going on inside of your blood vessels, uh, and and that could be used again to look for a clot in the lungs, for a clot, you know, for for uh, coronary artery disease or blockage. So that being said, again, um, that you know, I, I don't really feel that test is is useful for most people. Uh, it's not something that I would look to get. There's other ways to determine it. But again, in an emergency room, they're just not concerned about your long-term exposure from radiation. They're, they're looking at the emergency situation. So CT scans can be done in people with symptoms. Should CT scans be done in people without symptoms? And then again, 2018, this, uh, uh, this uh, task force, they reported this in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, one of the biggest medical journals in the world risk assessment for cardiovascular disease. And here's what their conclusion was about CT scans. In asymptomatic adults, the current evidence is insufficient to assess the balance of benefits and harms of adding coronary artery calcium score to traditional risk assessment. And of course I do traditional on steroids. Again, that's what I posted uh, into your link there. And, uh, um, uh, risk for uh, uh, for CVD prevention, risk assessment for CVD in asymptomatic adults to prevent cardiovascular disease events, i.e., it is unproven and of unknown benefit, and certainly contains risk when you do CT scans on asymptomatic people, people without symptoms, just for routine screening. Don't do it. Don't do it. They offer it to you at a very cheap price, most of these hospitals, really for the last 20 plus years, because it's a loss leader. They may lose money on that, but they make up on the back end because now you've got, allegedly, you need a stress test, which you don't without symptoms. You don't need that. And the stress test that eventually leads to a coronary uh, angiogram, and then it leads to a stent or bypass surgery when all the while you had no symptoms, you just went for a routine asymptomatic screening CT scan. Don't do it. Now, uh, if you did it, you know, again, like, and then they say, well, okay, you have coronary calcification. Now what? Are you going to go on a statin drug? Are you going to take an aspirin? Are you going to take some other therapy because you've been identified with coronary artery calcification? Most cardiologists would say yes. I say no, 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 no. I assume you have, I assume everybody has coronary artery disease and I do the most advanced testing in the world to therefore recommend certain things to prevent worsening of the coronary artery disease, but the coronary disease breaking loose, a plaque breaking loose, shutting down the pipe, if you will, the artery, and leading to a heart attack, et cetera. Advice for all. So if you have coronary artery calcification, or if you don't, we always talk about the same things. Eat well, organic, paleo, animal-based, seafood-based diets. Live well, sleep, sunshine, physical activity, avoidance of environmental toxins and pollutants, See your chiropractor, chiropractic for primary care. Think well, be happy, be happy in your life, be happy in your life. That's the strategy.
After that, of course, we test, don't guess. We do the most advanced cardiovascular testing in the world. That is what's recommended. The most advanced cardiovascular testing in the world. I put it into your into the chat box. It's there. I highly suggest you get the testing done. It is a little over $2,000 for six tests. It is the most advanced in-depth testing in the world. It's a hundred or so pages of information that you need to know that actually can help you, that you can modify. So that's the stuff that we want to do. We test, don't guess. And then we get into evidence-based supplements. So supplements, supplement, they eat well, think well, live well. We do the testing and we use that to guide if we need evidence-based supplements to supplement the healthy lifestyle. Should I repeat a scan? If you've had a, if I didn't want you to get the scan in the first place, I definitely would not want you to repeat the scan. What's the difference? If the scan looks worse, if it looks better, if it looks the same, how is it going to change your therapy? I postulate that it doesn't that it doesn't. So that is uh, where things are at right there. If you have to go for a scan, you've got this, you know, pro, you know, there, there are different ways to mitigate against that chlorella, spirulina, high dose antioxidants, this particular product uh, that, uh, you know, that we sell. And if you're interested in this product, shoot us an email. I'm not sure it's up on the website as an individual. Shoot us an email at health at natural or orders at naturalheartdoctor.com. I'll put that in the comments section if you're looking for this or similar orders at uh, naturalheartdoctor.com uh, and say you are looking for the Vired Chem Binder. Good. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the story with, uh, with scanning. Happy to uh, answer any more questions that people would have. Please feel free uh, to jump in. And uh, let's see here. Sorry if your slides came up blurry. My guess is that it's your uh, device and not mine. Uh, my side is looking pretty good. Lynn is asking about MRI. So cardiac MRI has a role for certain conditions. I would choose that over CT scanning, although it could be, uh, it's not the test of choice either. Um, if, um, uh, if you need to have a cardiac MRI, again, it's the gadolinium that stays in the body, the, the, uh, the uh, you know, injection of the gadolinium as a contrast agent, we would like to avoid. Again, there's certain situations for cardiac MRI, but even those are ordered much more frequently than they need be. Again, if you need some kind of a stress test, always push for a plain treadmill. If they want imaging with it, do an ultrasound. Ultrasound technology is safe, effective. It is not ionizing radiation like a CT scan. So there you go. Becky Horton was fired by your gyno 12 years ago. <laughs> Bye-bye, uh, no worries. There's other gynecologists, there's other practitioners willing to treat people like you, including myself, where we do thermograms. And if they're abnormal, then we request that they get a, an ultrasound, an ultrasound of the breast tissue. I will tell you right now, obviously I don't have a large uh, uh, database of people to necessarily, I mean, I've got, you know, thousands of patients and I can't, I, there's no one that in my practice I can think of that's died, who's died of breast cancer. So, uh, again, test, don't guess, do the natural stuff. You're good to go. Uh, Mandy is asking about the, uh, you know, again, like the zeolites, uh, massive dose of antioxidants, Virad Chem, all that stuff is all fantastic. Kim, you're welcome. Uh, Mandy, again, MRI has danger as well. It's not something that I would choose, but it is not ionizing radiation. So it's safer than a CT. So, uh, so there you go uh, with that. Cellcore guy said to take that out of pill. Uh, how should I do that? Just open the pill and pour in the water. You could definitely do that. I mean, uh, yeah, there's no problem with, uh, you know, with uh, opening up some of these capsules. No worries there uh, at all. And here we go. Yeah. I mean, again, if you got any questions, email us, uh, uh, 
health at naturalheartdoctor.com. We're going to come back tomorrow with another fantastic presentation. Today's word of the day, everybody. Get ready to write this down. Word of the day, exemplary. Exemplary, another one of my favorite words in the sense of how we like to live our lives. Exemplary to, a, to the highest level, to the best performing level you can. We, uh, all of us at Natural Heart Doctor, one of our core values is to perform exemplary to give you the best care in the world is what we do. So that's what we do at Natural Heart Doctor. Word of the day is exemplary. Write that down. It's one of your 28 days of 28 words that we use at Natural Heart Doctor. And again, you submit that, you get $50 gift card, you get one of three lucky people, the triple toxin test. And if you're interested again in the comprehensive testing panel, go ahead and get it. You will not be sorry. I've never had anyone call up or anyone complain and say, wow, 100 pages of information all about my health uh, was not worth the money. We have never seen that. It's just, it's just, it's so exciting to be able to offer the most in-depth, comprehensive heart health care in the entire world to all of you. And again, we couldn't do it without you. We appreciate you. We appreciate your support. Becky, thank you. And so on to everyone here. Uh, Angela, why would you develop a left bundle branch block? Again, a lot of reasons for that, but we should do an echocardiogram, make sure there's not some form of cardiomyopathy. Elaine, thank you. If you've had an MRI, how to get rid of the dye? Again, there's a lot of different detox strategies, but it's difficult. Gadolinium is a tough one to get out of the body. I'm Dr. Jack Wolfson, natural heart doctor. You're home for the 100 year heart, wishing you the best uh, always in health and wellness, and we will see you tomorrow.